we are so focused on down economy, high competition, tough tech job market, that we're losing a side. We're losing perspective, what we could actually do in tech, what actually is possible for you. And we're, when we're losing sight, we start focusing on the short term goal, landing a job, keeping a job. And as a short term goal, why? Because landing a job is not on demand. At some point, if you do it right, you're going to land a job. If you do your job well and your company is doing well, you're going to keep your job. Ain't nobody going to fire you if you're good, hardworking software developer. And especially if you have a deep domain knowledge, listen, like you, like you become an irreplaceable, which is becoming a problem when you are irreplaceable, it's really hard to promote you because nobody else can do your job, yada, 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 yada. So, but it's important to keep, uh, to keep your eyes on the perspectives, right? You can go higher. You can, you can grow into leadership, technical leadership. And essentially at some point, if it's, if it's your goal, you can solve really high level problems, C suite level problems, or you can monetize your knowledge, monetize your knowledge because you know, you have the how to, right? You have the how to, you can monetize your knowledge and uh, teach others or utilize your knowledge, monetize your knowledge by building things for other people. But which regardless, whichever way you go, either you're going for high level C-suite leadership, technical leadership positions, or if you're going through entrepreneurship route and monetizing your skill set and delivering value to people, regardless where you go, you must have executive presence. You must show up. You must be known in, in your industry as an expert because regardless which path you choose, management, leadership, or entrepreneurship and doing stuff for your, for your own on your own, regardless which mountain you're climbing, if nobody knows you, if nobody sees you, it's going to be a bumpy ride. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Going to the leadership, going to technical leadership, people should know you, you should have executive presence and also going to entrepreneurship, regardless how it looks like you, people have to see you as an expert and what is happening a lot in tech, a lot of software developers. I don't know why you have dope knowledge. You have, you, you, you have really dope knowledge, but y'all not sharing it. You have unique perspectives on so many things in tech, but nobody knows about it. Nobody knows about it. You might be even passionate about starting your own business because listen, w one thing that this economic cycle taught me that I can't rely on corporate America. I can't put all of my eggs in corporate America's basket because companies will let you go on the day, no in the, on the hour notice and then you're done, but you have to provide two week notice to them. It's funny, isn't it? And when it happens, what is your safety net? What is your safety net? I am so grateful for my business that I have because when I got laid off, I got my safety net. I got my business and, and the beauty of it that with my business, I bless so many people to, and help so many people navigating their careers and finding their purpose, landing better jobs, building the executive presence, going to the mountain, stepping 
up, rising above. And also, it also helped me to help me financially, essentially, right? I don't, I didn't really have to tap into my savings. So it was just another month. Maybe with a little bit extra bonus from severance package. So, which is, which is nice. So this is why you should keep your eyes on the perspective. What is possible for you? What is it in tech for you? You might be wondering, how do you exact, how do you develop executive presence? How do you show up? Well, here's a crush course for you. Video is, is the king because when people see your face, hear your voice, seeing you sharing your perspectives, you develop no like and trust factor. No like and trust factor. And in, in fact, in my coaching program, I teach people how to do it strategically because it's not just you have to pick up a camera or record your screen and put some code out there and talk about whatever. You've got to be strategic about it. Because to start with, you just have to show up. You just, you just have to show up, right? Your first video is not going to be perfect. Your first post is not going to be perfect, but you're going to start, you're going to start doing something. But when you start doing something, right? When you start doing, working on the quantity first, because quantity produces quality. When you start working on that, you, you need a system. You need a system how you guide people essentially to you. How do you stand up as a subject matter expert? And here's another crash course for you. Do stand up as a subject matter expert. Educational content is the king as well. And maybe, maybe here and there is like sprinkle a little bit personal stuff. Don't get too personal, but like, and get people, let people get to know you. Okay. Let people get to know you. And when you have that combination, your perspective, when you share about, when you share your expertise, when you're solving a problem and you're showing people how to solve problems and plus people will know a little bit about your, your personal life and a little bit about yourself, your hobbies, like stuff like that, where you maybe where you like to go for a coffee or where you're vacationing at and stuff like that. And don't turn your link in into Instagram, of course, but also don't be afraid to be personal on LinkedIn. Establish your executive presence. It is so crucial. And if you need help with your executive presence, if you need help closing those gaps in your skills, to show up and show out, to be a visible expert, subject matter expert in your industry so you don't have to apply for jobs online like crazy and people go to you. You build your network in a way that it benefit you and essentially you can pick and choose which direction you want to go. I invite you to my coaching program. The link is in the description box. So I grab your spot for a mini coaching session and like on the form and um or better yet send me a dm on linkedin and let's talk about it because i'm here to help i am here to help because there are a lot of per good perspectives good things can and will happen to you in tech tech is such a it's a, uh, tech is a source of generational blessings for so many people and it can be the source of generational blessings for you as well don't lose your side from the perspectives i really hope this video gave you a little different perspective on what is possible in tech connect with me if you need help and come to my live streams this week okay this week on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, I'm going live on LinkedIn. I'm going live on YouTube. And on Thursday, I'm going to have a bunch of guests. So Thursday is going to be so dope. I'm so excited. So um, I can't wait to see you there. 
and I'll see you later. See you in the next video. Bye, you.